Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we are in the second and final quest of chapter one. Uh, we're in variant seven or back issue seven. And if you watch my previous one, uh, the global nodes are the same. Uh, and you'll know why I'm making a quick substitution here. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Uh, but I wanted to bring in Wolverine I was thinking about making him a horseman, which would have made him a beast for this uh, chapter. But because of the globals, uh, it was not as feasible as I would have liked. All right. So we swap him out with someone else, a hero, because all throughout this variant, uh, you want to bring in heroes. And each chapter has a different dual class restriction. And for this one, it's mystic and mutant. All right, so we're gonna look at each of the paths here, and I'm gonna show you the path I took for my initial clear and the path that I recommend you take for your initial clear. All right, it's the one that I feel is the easiest. Uh, as I was looking through all of these, none of them seemed very difficult. I saw one that had chaos, and I don't like chaos because they're random, uh, tends to always be harmful to me. All right, so the path that I ultimately went with is the one down below here. And you basically have uh, both mystic and mutant wrath, okay? So you can see right there, uh, you get extra damage. You also have energize, so you have to deal with a little power gain boost. And you have Buffet where they are uh, healing periodically, all right? But the beast, the MVP for this entire chapter is Archangel. He can handle all of the fights without any difficulty. Even if you only have a four star, you can do this. Uh, they've made this a very, very uh, Archangel specific uh, type of encounter, but anyone that can bleed, any mutant that can bleed, uh, poison, uh, all of that will be great. Uh, as you can see, Archangel took him down because once he gets those neurotoxins up, it's over with. Uh, also, you know, if you have someone that can poison, uh, that will also um, reduce their healing. In this game, it's usually reduced by like 30% per poison. So if they can bleed, if they can poison, if you have the Despair Mastery, uh, that will help out because the more debuffs that you have on your, your opponent, uh, the less they will heal. So you have many options uh, for this. So don't worry about it. Max out your Despair. Bring in your heavy debuff champions. You'll do just fine, uh, even if you don't have an Archangel. But Archangel is uniquely suited for these paths. You can see I'm just tearing it up. The other thing that you may already be aware of if you've been watching uh, this series is that the more heroes you have on your team, the higher your abilities, uh, I would say your ability accuracy, your, your abilities are going to fire off more often. So if you have champions that you know, have a percentage, you know, maybe they have a low percentage to fire off something like Archangel. Archangel has a percentage uh, chance for them to, when they hit him, to uh, put a poison on them. You know, it's not 100%. But because I have a lot of heroes on the team, my percentage went up and it's pretty much a done deal. They're going to get poisons, take some blocked hits. They're going to get poisons do your heavy attack, and it's over with. Now, I am running suicides, and I'm not necessarily playing the best. You know, I'm taking a little bit more uh, in the way of blocked hits than I should because my my uh, debuffs from the suicides, uh, Double Edge and Liquid Courage, they place a poison and a bleed on me. The poison is permanent for the entire fight, uh, and the bleed... Uh, last, I, I forget how long, 25 seconds, 30 seconds, uh, you can look that up, uh, but you can see it there. So even though I'm not getting hit, the longer I take in the fight, the more damage I'm going to take, even if I'm not getting hit. And of course, you have all the block damage. 
So I'm basically going through the path with Archangel and I'm not firing specials off, but he doesn't need to fire his specials. It's all about those neurotoxins that he places. Those do way more damage than any specials. So all you want to do with Archangel is parry heavy and you are going to tear through this. Now, this one here, uh, remember this is Mystic and Mutant. So for Annihilus, who I hate fighting, uh, I brought in Claire. Now, you can fight Annihilus by intercepting him. When you're fighting him with a Mystic, it's a little bit easier, okay? But I somehow still manage to have issues uh, fighting uh, Annihilus, okay? We, we evaded the special there. And I have all kinds of trouble sometimes, like that. I evaded the first one. Second one, I got caught. And I'm just like, okay, you know, whatever. We fired off our special two. He's almost done. He gets another lick in. And this one does some good damage on me. And I'm just like, all right, that's enough. <laughs> let's let's put you to sleep. That's That's ridiculous. Um, but we got him down, and the nice thing about Claire is that if I want to use her again, I don't have to use items to heal her up. I could have brought her into uh, the next fight, cycle through, get to her Curse of Blood, and fire off a special two and heal up. But I didn't choose to do that. Uh, instead, I went back to old tried and true Archangel. Now, I don't want to lose too much health, all right? Uh, and I have to watch this wasp. Wasp will wreck you very, very quickly. You know, you want to get that, um, her signature ability, I guess. Uh, well, no, it's not her signature ability. Her signature ability, um, I think, reduces the cooldown. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, she goes on a cooldown. And you see I was staying away from her. Um, her little minimize when she does her heavy and all of that. Um, her evade, she has a chance to evade when you attack her. And that you want to put on cooldown. And if you don't, and she evades, she's going to put a nasty shock on you that's going to eat away at your health. And if you're unfortunate enough to look away for a second, uh, she can wreck you very quickly. She'll, she'll do a five hit combo into a heavy attack. And you're likely going to go down. Now, I was concerned about this fight because for all the times I've been fighting Punisher, I still cannot evade his special one uh, completely. Uh, I've done it before. I've seen other people do it. But as you see here, that's how I evade it. Uh, I take the first two and then I evade the last uh, hit. That minimizes the damage that I take. And my only hope, as you saw there, was realized that Archangel would be doing enough damage that I wouldn't have to take too many of those blocked hits. So Archangel's health is already low, and we're at the final boss. Pretty quick, pretty easy, straightforward. Again, Archangel, even as a four-star, can do this. All right, so here are the uh, nodes that we have to deal with. Enhanced Special 1, Spry... Special one bias, plague mind, all that good stuff. But you also have mutant wrath. Now, the thing to know about his unblockable, and this scares some people, his special one is never unblockable. You can block the first part and evade the last part. Always. Okay? So here I'm thinking, all right, I got the neuro on him. This is a wrap. You know, parry, heavy. Look at that. Several ones. And see this unblockable? But you notice how I got the first two blocked and then evaded the next one so we're good at this point we just need to stay away and i'm like okay he's about to get stunned i look up and got hit that was completely my fault he was about to get stunned as the neurotoxins wore out that's why i didn't push him to a special or else he would have fired his special off so all i needed to do was stay away from him long enough for him to get stunned then i would have hit him with some more heavies some more heavies and we would have been able to take him down even with that little bit of health that we went into the fight with, but my bad, okay? So I brought in Colossus and we're just parry heavy. We didn't get the um, crit there, but it's all good. No crits there, okay? And we know we're gonna have to do this. 
and then instead of blocking the first couple, I just decided to dash back. I don't know why. Reflexes. Muscle memory. All right? And so I'm just like, okay, um, I got hit after that because I had to, you know, regain my composure, and we were able to get him down. All right? So, uh, and I wasn't too worried about not being able to get him down because I still had a bunch of folks on the team that I could have brought in to finish him off. So very easy uh, initial clear for this chapter. All right. Hopefully this helps you guys out uh, as you do your initial clear. So hit that like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.